Swipe Up, episode 217 of the show where I share my opinions on current events, whether you like it or not. Jackie Chan confirms that Rush Hour 4 is in the works. Previously, he denied any any allegations, allegations, any kind of uh, rumors that there's been... Uh, work or or chat of a fourth movie in that franchise. I recently rewatched the three movies of that franchise. The third movie of which, uh, you know, even I even now trying to think about it, I kind of forget. It's like very forgettable. I love Jackie Chan. I'm gonna start there. I'm a huge fan of Jackie Chan, even though I found out some problematic things about him. He's not the greatest guy, which is a bummer. But I love Jackie Chan regardless. I'm able to detach from that. I, I love his movies, right? And he had the movies that he did in the U.S. when he had his moment, his moment of popularity doing these Rush Hour movies, also doing the Shanghai Noon, Shanghai Nights movies. At the time, I loved them. In re-watching specifically the Rush Hour movies, I had no idea how absolutely racist these movies were. Like, Carter, the Chris Tucker character, just blatantly racist. Continue, and and I, I know these movies were modeled after the 48-hour movies, which was a movie that had... Um, God, what's his name? Um, oh, I'm blanking on his name, but... Very racist movies as well, but those were more like they were not normalizing the racism as much as they were calling it out. I mean, literally, the the character in that was calling out the racism and using it to his advantage in a lot of ways. Where this is just Chris Tucker characters just being completely racist to Jackie Chan and even though Jackie Chan is kind of fixing all of the mess that's going on constantly, he's taking credit for it, which is kind of funny. Obviously, amazing fight scenes, as all Jackie Chan movies of those years were. Uh, this kind of being coming at a time where it's been forever since I've seen an action movie from Jackie Chan that wasn't sad to watch. Just, I mean, whether it's him not being allowed to do his stunts anymore he's a lot older now but like a lot and like a lot of his movies were almost like kids movies like spy next door and other other movies that were just kind of ridiculous not very good a lot of wire work was done and just didn't feel like the same type of action scenes that you would see jackie chan in um so for this movie this fourth movie I hope it doesn't have the blatant racism that the previous Rush Hour movies do. I hope that it has some fun action that the previous Rush Hour movies did have. Uh, I'm sure it'll be funny. Hopefully they get a new director. Not a big fan of the director that, that did the previous ones either. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm always hopeful to get one more Jackie Chan movie. And there's been rumors that, you know, he was supposed to be at one point, he was thought of uh, the lead for everything, everywhere, all at once, which is an amazing movie. And I'm almost glad that he wasn't in it, but it, I, you know, at the same time, it would have been probably my favorite movie that he had, he's ever done. Uh, I would have loved even to see bullet train as an action movie. I recently watched led by Brad Pitt doing a lot of Jackie Chan esque action as in like using everyday objects to fight with as in uh, expressing pain during a fight, which is something that's pretty unique to Jackie Chan's kind of style of his fight scenes. Maybe not doing the type of stunt work and the type of action that you would see to the level you would see Jackie Chan do doing his own stunts and all of that, but you know, I, I hope for the best. I'm not I'm not I wouldn't put money on it being a good movie based on the previous where that franchise went. Not that it completely went, but is it they just don't hold up. You know? They don't hold up. 
they don't hold up. It was kind of a bummer when I went back to rewatch them. But I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. And I want the best for Jackie Chan. And I enjoy Chris Tucker, too. I enjoy him, too. He can be kind of annoying sometimes. But, you know, fingers crossed it'll be like maybe one last good Jackie Chan movie. He stated that apparently he wants to do more dramatic work. You know, I don't know how good of an actor he is necessarily, but it's uh, it's a guy who I would love to dig back into his catalog of films that he's done and go through, maybe do a top five at one point. I, don't, I mean, this just the, the sad thing is a lot of the Jackie Chan movies aren't necessarily easily accessible for, I'm sure, a lot of reasons. But anyway, news that there's going to be a Rush Hour 4. I am interested not hopeful i'm not wouldn't be surprised if they're not great but i I hope for the best put it that way hope for the best and uh we'll see we'll see how it happens see how it works out new episodes of the ray taylor show come out every single day subscribe on youtube and everywhere our podcasts are found binge the full week over at inspireddisorder.com slash plus buy ray taylor show merch over at inspireddisorder.com have a wonderful day everybody peace Ouch! Today is the day where you wake up and you realize that everything that you've been dreaming about, everything that you've been wanting, every goal and wish and hope that you've ever had can become real. Dreams can come true. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality.